Who's there? Bonesaur! I know that was so cheesy. I'm so sorry. I just had to. <sighs> look at what i have here so we have boy next door albums i went to barnes and noble this morning let me take off my watch i don't like filming with my watch on anyway so i went to barnes and noble this morning with my mom actually she wanted to go with me to go to a store afterward and she's like you come all the way here for these cds and i'm like i do in fact have to drive like 50 minutes to the nearest barnes and noble to get these cds <laughs> so now she gets my struggle i bought both versions thank god i was really nervous they were only going to have one version but they had both and then they also had the letter versions i don't know if there's a name because i know that these are member specific but i don't see a name they did buy three of the versions there's actually four versions because the other one is the weverse version but they don't sell those in stores and i did want to mention they also are selling these in target but all the targets near me were out of stock so i couldn't go to the targets you know to get them obviously so i was like you know what i'm fine with just barnes and noble because i already ordered some off of target I actually also ordered some online from barnes and noble because i wasn't sure if they're gonna sell them in store let's hurry up and get started i'm so excited i can't believe they were selling these in store but here is oh let me take it out of the plastic this is their first comeback technically i'm pretty excited about this packaging this is my cup of tea a rectangular box package i must sucker for this oh my god look at how pretty so i think this is the dazed version i don't know if it says it somewhere it says why their first e key yeah because the other one was technically a single album but there it is does it say i don't think it says what version it is but i'm pretty sure this is the dazed version i haven't seen a single unboxing so i'm nervous as to where things are located okay let's go through the photo book so this is what the photo book looks like oh i think it does say for some dazed action and thematic elements is that how you say that i don't know but here it is k-o-z okay let's go through the photo book Oh my god. Oh, it even has the pages labeled. I love that for us. This is giving me such book vibes. Ah, uh, so look at him. He has the widest shoulders I think I've ever seen in my life. Have they measured his shoulders? <laughs> they are so, so wide. And then we have Ryu. He is for sure my bias now. I did have a bias change. So when I first unboxed their albums, I think I said Leon was my bias, but it for sure changed to Ryu. And then honestly think that the other five members are tied for bias record for me right now. I cannot choose a bias record to save my life. But I do have a soft spot for Ryu. Ryu was, I don't even think I considered him a record during the debut. I think it was Leon was my bias and then I think Woonhak was my bias wrecker at the time. Yeah, for sure things changed. Oh my god. Look at how I feel like this is also giving moody vibes, but that's kind of like the whole concept. This is completely different from their first album and I like how they did completely I mean the sounds aren't completely different, but they kind of are completely different sounds. Like as mentioned this one is such a moodier album whereas the first well technically the other three songs are on this album too but the first three songs are more playful and fun and this just makes me think about all my past relationships and i'm like dang <laughs> so here are the track list so but i like you one and only and serenade were in their first album and then the new songs are crying but sometimes and a b c d l o v e but anyway i think my favorite song i'm honestly stuck between crying and but sometimes a b c d l o v e is probably my least favorite song off this album i still like it don't get me wrong i love all of the songs but i do think that the rest of the album is just a little bit better but that's because all of the other songs are just top tier never been done before and i honestly mean never been done before because boy next door just sounds 
completely different than any other boy group out there or any other group to be honest and so they're just oh by the way i matched my nails kind of I'll show you guys in a second but I, i'm so distracted i'm like so scatterbrained for some reason but yeah so crying especially the beginning part where i think leon starts off the song lehan i don't know if you pronounce the h but anyway he starts off the song and then it goes to rio and then he does a little like dance thing where he like spins but oh my god i'm like how can he do that while singing it's just insane I also this morning, the first thing I did this morning was watch Kiss the Radio or something like that. It was a radio show and they were singing live. They were singing But Sometimes and honestly, Sungu and Ryu's live vocals are so good. It was kind of crazy how good their live vocals are. They sounded exactly like the recording. I was like, holy crap. I mean, the other members are really good singers as well, but I feel like it might be a little bit more difficult for the other members specifically Taesan, uh jaehan and Woonhak, because they add a lot of animation to their voices where they do like specifically but sometimes where Taesan does the all right you know what i mean like things like that like he spices up i guess his vocals and jaehan and Woonhak also do that and so i feel when you're singing live it might be a little more difficult to do that but they still pulled it off so well obviously they're just top professionals and they're newly debuted <sighs> you guys i love boy next door i don't know if you can tell by how much i'm talking about him like how can i not love him he's so adorable to me <laughs> i mean i love them all i really do oh my god <sighs> just so you know i love every single song though okay wow i feel like i talked so much but see, look, I kind of tried. I thought for some reason that, like, it was going to be more of a red than purple. Otherwise, I would have done purple. But I did my best. As you can see, I just painted them. So that's why I didn't even clean up the edges. But you know what? I wasn't expecting to film this because I didn't know that they had a Barnes & Noble exclusive. I saw some photo cards. Jeez, there's a lot of different photo cards in here. Okay, so here's a poster, I think. Oh, it's very, very glossy and reflective. But here it is. The thingy. The poster. There we go. Okay, then we have the CD plate. So it says Y. I'm assuming it's just yellow. Oh, yeah. Silver and yellow. And then we have these things. Stickers. Yeah, so A, B, C, D, L, O, V, E, Boy Next Door. That's cute. And then I think, is this the postcard? The Barnes & Noble postcard? Oh my god, I I don't plan on collecting bigger inclusions, but it does make me so happy when I do pull my bias. He looks so adorable too. And then this, is this Rio too? <laughs> okay, so one of them is the Barnes & Noble one, and the other one I think just comes in the album, but I don't know which is which. So this is... I have no idea. Oh, it's a little film strip, and it has all the members. Oh no, it doesn't want to focus. So here are all of the members looking so cute. I think I saw this one. So let's see who it is. Oh wait, no I didn't. This was not the one I saw. This is so adorable. Do we have Ryu and Unhak? This is so freaking cute. Are you joking? <laughs> I'm so devastated. This is the one I saw, I'm pretty sure. No, it's not. <laughs> Wait, which one did I see? And then we have this one. <gasps> oh, so <laughs> Jeez, they have so many photo cards. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. He is adorable. And then lastly, okay, this is actually the one I saw for sure. <laughs> Look at him. So I pulled the <laughs> right when I tell y'all that he's not my bias, of course I pull him. That always happens. Oh my gosh. I don't think I pulled Ryu at all last era. I pulled Sungu and Leon. I think the oh, I think those are the only two members I pulled, maybe. He looks so freaking adorable. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Look at that, the pole's impeccable. Now we have the moody version. Watch me have messed up the versions. 
and the other one it was actually the moody one and this is dazed but who knows so here is this album gosh so yeah it's just kind of the same thing this smells like a book oh i love it oh this one's white okay here is the photo book Ooh, this looks cool okay okay oh yeah for some moody action okay so this one is the moody version i was right Oh, this is going to be matte. I've been talking about how a lot of groups have been doing that, where one version is matte and the other one is glossy. I don't mind that. I do like the different textures. I don't know what to talk about now that I... Because I already talked about everything. Oh my gosh. But yeah, he really stole my heart. I don't even know when it was. It was honestly almost right after that unboxing when i was like wait i think Rio might be my bias oh it was because i was watching their content on their youtube channel and i just really liked how he was more chill i mean so is leon to be honest leon is pretty chill too but jayhan i feel like is actually the most chaotic <laughs> he's pretty chaotic but we love that for him Look at how cute. Okay, this kind of does give moody vibes now that I'm seeing the photo book. I still love him so much, but I once again, I love them all, so it's really hard to pick a bias wrecker. Do you guys struggle too, or is it just a me problem? Oh, look at him. I adore him. I just recently added him to my list of idols that I want to protect for the rest of my life. Jung Sub, Seoul, Jung Ho. And now Woonhuk is also in that. Look at how adorable. Like, come on. This is kind of creepy, though, having a bunch of stuffed animals in a suitcase. <laughs> I don't know. Serenade and Crying. I think these are my top two favorite songs, though. And I can't choose for the life of me which one I like more. Can y'all choose? I was looking through debates on Twitter of which song is better. And there are people who are hardcore Serenade fans. And then there are people who are hardcore crying fans. I'm like, oh my god, why can't we just like them both equally? But I guess people just feel strong emotions towards both songs, and rightfully so, because they're both really good. I think it might be Crying for me. I don't know, maybe because Crying is a newer song, and I've listened to Serenade probably a thousand times already, so <laughs> I'm just kind of vibing more with Crying right now. Plus, the latter part of this album is very fall vibes, so the timing was perfect because it gives bonfire vibes. <laughs> exactly what they're doing. It's just, the timing is so good. Look at them. They look so sad. Oh my gosh, I was also watching their live performance and Woonhak. I saw a tweet where it said it looks like he's gone through divorces or a hundred divorces already and... Like, why is he so sad? Why are they crying? But anyway, yeah. It was while they were performing crying, I think, that I saw that comment. <laughs> it was just so funny. Look, why Why are they crying? I don't like it when they cry. But, I mean, they're moody, so I guess, I guess it makes sense. But still. So this poster is also matte, which I prefer matte posters over glossy. Also photo books. I think I prefer the matte photo books. But for photo cards, I prefer glossy. So let's do the Y CD plate. It says Y on it, I think. And then we have the stickers again. So I think these are the same, maybe? Okay, now we have the postcard. Oh, no! These are so sad to me. Like, why does he look so sad? Okay, then this one. Oh, I pulled Leon's. So there it is. Just so freaking cute. Okay. And then the little film strip thingy, which is in opposite age order. Ooh, that looks so adorable. Okay, now let's do all the photo cards. So let's do this one first. Is this the same photo card? Are these pre-order benefit maybe or first press photo cards? Yeah, it is the same photo card. Well, that's okay. Hopefully I'll be able to trade. 
And then we have this one. Maybe this is a group card? Oh no! Why is it horizontal? So <laughs> Why? But he looks good, obviously. And then we have the other two photo cards. Maybe these are both first press and these are the actual album photo cards. But I have no idea. Oh my god! No! The devastation! Oh my god, he looks so adorable. <laughs> I love him. And then lastly, oh, I pulled Taesan. Oh, I think I pulled him last era too. So I pulled Taesan, Sungu, and Leon, I think, were the three members. Oh my gosh, so freaking adorable. <laughs> So there they are. Here's the letter version. So I did actually order all of these albums off of Sub K like right when they announced that they were having a comeback. And that's because I had no idea that they were going to be sold in Target and in Barnes & Noble. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have purchased them off of Sub K, but too late now. Okay, I think this is member specific, like I said. So I pulled... Oh, I oh shoot. Totally just dropped this, but this is just the front cover of it so i pulled taesan so here it is everything sucks how you look so sweet in photos oh <laughs> but i did buy all the member versions for this already so i am gonna i guess collect all the photo cards and stuff i plan on doing like a whole video about boy next door soon so y'all know what's happening with my life about that Y'all can take your guesses down below. I do have six of these coming, plus one of each of the other versions. Let's start with this. Is this like a, the lyrics maybe? Like a poster lyric thingy? This is really nice. This is something that I would totally make like a little collage of on my wall or something like that. And then the back. I don't like though that they put <laughs> half of the songs and then... Only some of the members on one side and then the others on this side, but that's fine. Then we have some stickers. I'm doing this in a weird order. I apologize. I just, I don't know what to do. Okay, a house. Crying. But sometimes. So those are all three of the new songs. Here's the CD. I for sure saw the name on the photo card, but whatever. So this is the CD. It looks like a vinyl kind of the vibe it's giving now we can go through all the postcards so i'm gonna assume that these will be just taesans okay all the backs are the same so i'm not gonna show that but yes so i think they are so that's nice you do get like actually just his things if you wanted only one of the members and you don't want a humongo thick album <laughs> then you could just get the letter version I do like member specific things and I like it when they only do a few. They don't do like 30 million of them, you know, like SM, for example. They do so many member specific things. So they photo card. You could have just not loved me. Why is this so sad? Okay, so I did pull. <laughs> oh my god. Look at him. He's doing the little. <sighs> That's so cute. When I first saw this photo card, I saw it on Inz no on Mercari, I think it was. People were selling already their photo cards and stuff, and and so I searched up Boy Next Door, and this came up, and I thought it was Jisung from NCT Dream. I was like, why is Jisung here? But no, it's Woonhot. <laughs> I was like so confused. I don't know. I thought he looked like Jisung. That's my little story on that. But anyway, so that was this version. Alrighty, so these were all of the photo card polls. So as you can see, just one dupe. I'm gonna assume that these are just first press photo cards, but honestly, I'm not positive. Y'all can let me know. I'll probably know by the time this video is up, which will be tomorrow. I think this is going to be a Sunday video. But anyway, ah, it's so good. The only member I did not pull, of course, was a selfie photo card is Ryu and Jaehyun. We're not surprised at all. So that is the end of this video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I hope you guys love, love, loved their comeback. For me, it's been on repeat. <laughs> like the only album I listen to, it's really bad. I need to listen to other songs, but I just can't because this album is gold. This might be album of the year for me. We'll see. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you want to and I will see y'all in the next one.